Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Camping with the Confers. Uh, if you were with us last week, you saw that we were just leaving the glacier grooves at the campground here at Kelly's Island. So today we're going to take off for some more adventures. So stick around with us and we'll show you what we got into next. All right, so we just got back from the camp or to the campsite from the glacier grooves, the glacial grooves. And it starts raining like as soon as we're getting ready to leave. So it's like a five or seven minute walk. So got a little damp. The, uh, the rain maybe settled in for a little bit. I don't know. But Shelly Kay went inside to, uh, to try to stay dry. I don't know if that's her poking her head out the window. No. Nope. So at least the awning was out. And uh, oh, there's Shelly Kay. Hi. Wet out there. Little damp. So the awning was out, kind of keep the picnic table dry. So might as well settle in, have some supper, and see what the uh, weather does. All right, guys, the rain is over. It's like a bazillion degrees outside now, the humidity. But I've got some roast New Year's on the grill, and I've got yesterday's catch walleye on the griddle. Check it out. There's yesterday's walleye. Looking delicious. Some roast New Year's cooking on the grill. Yummy. All right, guys, supper time. I got yesterday's catch and some corn on the cob. Shelly likes to call it. And Shelly was brave enough to have a ham grilled cheese sandwich. I don't get bread very often because of your gluten, so this is a big deal. And it's turkey. And grilled turkey and cheese. So you're not afraid of this. There she goes again, guys. She's over at the neighbor's house playing with the dog. She can't go anywhere without playing with everybody's dogs. So they have these wildflower areas that attracts birds and butterflies. It's very pretty. Got bird houses. There's the one of the shower houses. Then over here. Another one. And there's another birdhouse over there. And the birds are loud. Lots of birds. Okay. No one's in here. They're pretty decent. So they have an entrance and then an exit out the other side. Ooh, that's a pretty view coming out of the shower house. But now I lost Michael. He has the dogs. The smoke is finally starting to clear up. You can kind of see that the sky is a little more blue. So just up the street from the campground is the foot ramp beach. The picnic area is a little further up. And then the glacial grooves is right there. So we're gonna stop over and see that as soon as we get done at the beach. And I would add that it's not really down the street, it's right next door. So down here at the beach, they do have rentals of kayaks and paddle boards, singles and doubles. You can see that it is pretty hopping today. They do have changing rooms and restrooms. Not bad for a little Lake Erie action. There are quite a few people out here. These two just want to go swimming. But there are too many people around here to let them off leash. So I just wanted to point out that this um, actually, so the beach, we said it was right next to, but you can see, you see those campers over there? Oops. See those campers over there? So it really is right next to the campground. You see the sign, the white sign? And there's it's actually... Down here too, it yes, and that is from the campground. And then the... Uh, oops. And then the boat ramps are right there. And the glacial clues are directly across the street. I want to find... I want to go walk out to that point too sometime. If 
there's any swimming involved, Dingo always wins because Red has just not taken the swimming. The waiter. And really, he's not a very good fetcher either. Get in here, woman. All right, so we just walked through the full hookup sites. I think I like our little spot better than the full hookup sites. What do you think? I do. I like our spot. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. You can see the water. Right. Distance, but these aren't bad, though. We no, a lot of they nice do. Sites. They back up into the woods, but you don't get the big sites. But a lot of them do have, like, the little concrete pad. For the picnic table. Right. So that makes it nice, but I'll take my uh, electric only site any day. So we're in the loop back here of the full hookup sites. We're at what, site 20 right here? So this is a full hookup, but you get a pretty good size site with this little dip. And the loop is all wooded. So it kind of breaks up the view of all the other sites. So that's kind of nice, huh? Yep. Six is 35 through 58. Sites 35 through 58. Most of these look like tent sites down through here. You know, well, I was noticing that. I think that there are a lot of tents, but I don't know that there are tent sites. Well, if you look, there's no electric. On this side. See, that's how we need the little map that tells us. Right. Yeah, I'm going to say these are all tent sites down through here. There's like a water spigot. Well, there are a couple. I would just say not electric because there's a camper there, there. That's true. There, camper there. There's not many people. Here are lots 59 through 76. See the pretty flowers they plant mm -hmm. at all the entrances? Smells nice back here, too. Lavender. So these look like electric only sites back here. Couple nice sites. Big wide ones. A lot of pop-ups back here. It's like maybe these are for shorties. Would you say 61's a nice one? Yeah, it's like it's it's pretty big. Yeah. It's funny long. And you're right next to water. If it works. The other water spigots didn't work when I tried them yesterday. And down here at the dead end is the group camp parking and section. If you got a little group together, you can come down here and get a spot. Non-electric. All non-electric, that's right. Oh, and then here is a little trail that goes to something. What could it be? All right, so this little path leads back to the fishing hut, a cleaning station that they have set up here for everybody. And then back to Shelly Kay's secret beach that she found. Alright, so the secret beach is looking pretty quiet this morning. A couple ski doos out there. I bet as the day goes on and the sun comes out, it'll get busier. Yeah, because we'll see nobody down there. So we're walking down the trail. And Shelly Kay finds this wee little toad. Keep hop. Come on, hop. Come on. Hop, come on. Whoop, whoop. There he goes. Get out of here. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. So here in the main loop, when you first come in, the water sites are marked tent only. That's site 93. So that's 93, 94, 92 section all along the water. They're really nice, pretty sites with a great view. But they are tent only. So right here by site 97, they have a nice shelter house for community events. I think they had like arts and crafts or something here yesterday. Science Saturday. And then here are some 
benches that you can come up and sit on. Kind of get a nice view of the lake. And the beach. And here's coming in the center. There's some swings and a big play toy. Place for the kids to play baseball out here or whatever. I'm playing baseball this morning. So this is lot 112 through 129, tents only. But there's a pop-up. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that uh, that rule is a little negotiable. But back here is where the yurts are. I have two big yurts back here that you can rent if you are camper and tentless. I'm gonna go into the office to get fire starters um, and maybe some ice. But so you know, there is no camp store here at all. Like they don't sell anything in there but ice and fire starters. But directly across the street, Michael Pan's over there, there is like a little general store that has, you know, all your little camp store needs. It's called Uncle Dick's, I believe is the name of it. And it is literally right across the street. So on the main loop, there's a big gap between sites here by where you stop and get water. So if you can get your hands on this site, what site number is this? But you back into the bathroom. Uh, so now okay. your back window is the bathroom. You do have all that. You get a huge site. Yeah, 109, but see, there's the bathroom. Gotcha. But you do have the, uh, the butterfly patch back there behind you between them. So that kind of helps. That's true. For not having a water site, though, I still think ours is my favorite. Yeah, it's a pretty solid site for sure. No bathroom. It is on a corner, too, and usually we try to stay away from the corners of the roads. But there's not a lot of car traffic. It's all golf carts and bicycles here. And our campsite isn't toward the corner. True. It's inward. Right. So, and see, like, all that space, all that's just, like, community space. But... Running through it. Right, they just pass through to make it over to the bathroom. And then here's our haven. But then here's our site. It's really good. So we got all the shade of the trees. I mean, this we is got room for the truck in front of the camper. This whole thing is ours. And there's even room for Shelly Kay's lights. Morning, guys. Well, it's not morning anymore. Good afternoon. Uh, we are at the North Pond State Nature Preserve today. We're going to go for another hike. Yep. It is known as a... I'm trying to get... Oh, see that? Oh, yes, yeah, a birding trail. Birding habitat trail. Guess what? I forgot my stinking binoculars. Again. I'm so mad. But this trail is just over a mile long from what we can remember. I don't see anything on the map, so we're going to go scope it out. It's actually part of a global network of recognized um, preservation of bird conservation. That's there you what go. it is. Something like that. But as much as we like watching the birds, we always forget our binoculars that we bought to watch the birds with. And when I bring my binoculars, you know what happens? I don't see any birds. Never see birds. So we did learn something today. There is such a thing as a Lake Erie water snake. Which we did see. We've yes. Seen the Lake Erie We've water. seen them. But I did not know that per this little pamphlet right here, yeah, they are only right here on the Lake Erie Islands. So that's kind of cool. They are non-venomous, but they are aggressive. So we got to keep our eyes out for those because I wore my hiking sandals today, which should make it interesting if we get an aggressive snake, but I don't have to outrun the snake. I only have to outrun Shelly Kay. See how he just puts me out there? tell you. That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, guys, so we are not more than 50 yards into this hike, and all you can hear are the birds and the car drive by. It's very peaceful back here. Do you see it? No. There's the boardwalk you've been looking for all week. <sighs> I thought you saw a 
listening. Yes, I have been looking for this boardwalk always. Every hike I've been like, I didn't see the boardwalk. I think we found it. It's made from recycled something or other. this if someone wouldn't have mentioned it but right up here it's an eagle there it is I don't see anybody home but eagles aren't supposed to be abundant on the island though if I only had my dad on binoculars We might have to come back and do this hike again. Maybe. It's not very far. Yeah, it's not far and it's only like a mile or so long. It took us 10 minutes to ride our bikes here. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, is that something? Yes! Oh yeah, that Shit, is yes. an eagle. Shit, yes! You can't say that. Yeah. There's an eagle. Right there, which you probably can't see. So we're gonna walk over and see if we can catch a different angle of these three eagles sitting up by the nest. You can tell it's a big one and two smaller ones, but we can't really make out who's who up there. Oh yeah, look. Oh yeah, you get a good view of that one. But and the lighting is bad right now, but you can still at least tell that it's that's it. definitely a juvenile. With the humidity today, it's like we're walking through the jungle out here. Welcome to the jungle. You hear the woodpeckers. We saw some deer. We saw some new birds. Three eagles out here. There's a woodpecker, but I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, I haven't seen him. beaver back here somewhere. He's been chewing on that tree. But where could he be? Alright guys, so we're just finishing up the trail here. We're, it was about a mile, three quarters of a mile, something like that. But let me tell you, this trail did not disappoint. Not at all. Um, it's not very long. It's pretty well manicured. It's well marked. The boardwalk is a little slippery when it's wet, so be careful. But bring your binoculars. Bring your binoculars. Camera. Bring a good camera, because the amount of birds that you see out here—we saw eagles and goldfinches and some blue thing some, we've never seen. Yeah, so we got to look that one up. Um, Red winged blackbirds. I mean, there was there was a lot. Yeah, tons and tons of birds. So there goes another one. Oh, there's an eagle right there. Oh, flying. Yeah, there's an eagle flying above us right now. So. Yeah, take a few minutes, come out this trail if you're bird nerds, and even if you're not, um, well worth the hour you can spend. I think we spent about an hour back here. Yeah, because we really took our time, and we've already said we're gonna come back, because like right now it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We wanna come back either in the early morning or in the evening. And see if we can get some good pictures. We'll actually bring the good camera with us, and if we get some shots, we'll lay them in here so you guys can see some of the, uh, some of the wildlife out here. It's, Beautiful. So after that hike, we stopped at the winery. Again. Again. But we didn't actually eat or drink here yesterday, so. Right, we ate at Key Cantina, Kelly's Island, KI. Yeah. So, so it's like we have live music today, though. Yeah. So let's go to the winery, see what they got, and uh, then continue this day.
just get in between something. The Cabernet is good. So what do you got there? This one is the Woodford Red and Unfiltered Bla Frankenchich blend. I don't like that one. Inscription White, Sauvignon Blanc, very drink light. Now this is interesting. I've never seen this. Glacial White, German style wine with papaya and pear under. Really, really sweet. Sunset pink. This one tastes like Kool Aid. Coyote white. Mmm. That one's actually. I like that one. It's also sweet, but it's tart. Long sweet red. Rem reminiscent of the wines of Italy. And then we just got our little charcuterie board here. Playing a little battleship while we wait. Mm -hmm. The cows are right over your shoulder. Also, you can go to Papa T's. I guess they've got the best ice cream on the island here. Look, you it's the can rumor. Get a brownie sundae with bacon on it. Right, I saw that for an extra 75 cents. All right, so you can um, go to Jet Express down at the marina and um, get your tickets to Kelly's Island. No to get your tickets to Putin bay $77 for two adults and two bikes. Round trip. Round trip. Um, and so we did the 9.55 leaving Kelly's Island and the 7.30 returning back from Putin bay They said that you can change the time of your return as long as there's room on the ferry. So I don't know what happens if you tr try to, you know, if you miss the 7.30 and say you want the 10 o'clock one and there's no room, are you just out of luck? You're swimming. So I don't think we want to do that. Yeah, that's not <laughs> Or we're going to be sleeping on a park bench somewhere. <laughs> Adventure stream, we'll be staying with you guys. Right, that's true. All right, so they gave us these tags that we need to put on our bikes. And so we'll be good to go tomorrow morning. Bright and early. Yep. Where are we going now? We're going to have a little beer. A little beer? Just a little one, just, just a many. One. Too bad they don't make big little beers. No, that'd be too much. So Dockers is the only place on the island that has the little beers. So we're going to go back over there and have a little beer. Mm -hmm. Makes me think of Cheryl and Barry. Cheryl and Barry. Barrel. 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 Uh, can I get three little beers, please? Oh, you did get three. I did. One twice your size, so. That's true. One for you, two for me. One for you two for me. Casino just had some live music. By the way, there's no gambling at the casino. There is no. No slots, just shots. Right. Probably the best live music we've had so far. Yes. I think yeah. it was really good. Yeah, we need to get back to the dogs or I'd be happy to say. Although I think he's only playing until six, so we're not missing yeah, out too much, but he's very good. Minutes. All right, guys, so the little secret beach that we told you about earlier, you yes. can actually access. And you can access the secret beach by the campground, by the fishing hut. Right. station, whatever. Yeah, so you can also access the trail back to where we saw the deer and the birds and the eagles and everything else. So we're going to head back in there via the secret, secret beach. beach to see if we can get some 
better pictures of the eagles. But as we're walking back through here, it looks like the kids spent some time today. They built a giant alligator and a turtle in the sand here. So yeah, good I work. I don't say that, that. I don't know that those were kids. Like, that's like, I know. Like they did shit. some good work. All right, guys. We have got a nasty storm rolling in. Oh, yeah. See the beard blowing. Trying to get back to. We were to doing our nature thing. And it just came in quick. Yeah, it came in with a quickness. You can see the lake starting to get angry. The wind's howling. Even this duck's like, I'm getting the that's, heck out of here. That's a goose. A goose. Duck, duck, goose. It's got feathers. Shelly Kay's not happy. No, because I said, Michael, look at those clouds. I want to get out of here before the storm comes. And I said, no problem. We can make it before the storm hits. Guess what? I was wrong again. Okay, we gotta put the equipment away. It's gonna get ruined. Yeah. Good news is, I had a hat on this time. Right. Because yesterday I did not have a hat on. And it was hitting my face. But your hat has no top. Well, but it keeps the rain off my face, so right. that helps. But you know. And look, as soon as we get back, yeah. the rain starts to die off. Well, it's still raining. But look. The wind blew over the widget. The awning is still intact though. We left it out, so that's good. We're, well, we were gone like 15 minutes. I don't have to take a shower now. No, there you go. See? Look at you. I need to show you. You're not all dry, mister. Hey, my job was to keep the cameras dry. Okay. I did the best I could. All right, let's dump off this awning. We got... Okay. We're gonna dump this awning off. Where am I getting it? There. There we go. Awning dump. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, guys. Good morning. So, if you saw it yesterday, we got uh, rained out over here trying to catch these eagles. So I got up bright and early this morning, for me anyway. We're gonna head into town later this morning to catch the Jet Express to go uh, over to Putin Bay and hang out with some friends. So while Shelly Kay's in the shower, I'm headed back over to the nature preserve to see if I can catch these eagles. So, wish me luck, I'll show you what I find. All right, Shelly Kay is done getting herself all put together. Were you talking about me when I was gone? I always talk about you when you're gone. Yeah. So we got to hop on the bikes, get down to Jet Express because we're going to... Puddin' Bay. Puddin' Bay. For the day. Hopefully it's not too crazy. And we can't spend too much time there because we have to get back here for the dogs. Dogs. I messed up. I booked a ferry return at 7.30 p.m. And I was like, I can't do that. Let's yeah. get back for the dogs. We got to switch that as soon as we get down there. So let's go. All right.